welcome everyone all you people out there that have come forward to join me right now thanks if you are returning you have my unbridled gratitude forever and ever i have such wonderful regulars and they're good comment makers and such like that i appreciate all of my subs and if you haven't decided to be a um a sub, to get a subscription i've i ha, i ha, these last couple of days i'm finding it very hard to find my words correctly <sighs> Okay, let's just persevere because this is like take five um, because I was losing my train of thought within within a minute and a half, two minutes. So I'm determined, as I said, I have a hodgepodge that I want to show you because there's stuff in it that I want. So let us dive right in and I'll show you a most exciting item right off the bat. This is loungewear, and we all know <laughs> how much we love our loungewear. But this one for me is totally different because it's a two-piece, short sleeve, long pants, regular hem bottom, elastic waistline. Look at this pattern, isn't it great? Oh, I think this pattern is so nice. I do like a good paisley. This is a navy blue black background to all of the colors on top. Very seasonal. And I'm just going to feel special wearing this glorious two-piece set loungewear. And I got this for under... 550. I do believe I got it for under 550. Definitely it was under six dollars. Okay. <laughs> Definitely. I really, really am looking forward to this. So I did want to be able to show that to you. Fantastic. Put that down over there. We got some Temo bags. Yes, we do. We got one with the logo. And you know how we always go to go open them and they're really open already. So all we do is manage to close them. <laughs> Let's see what's in here. All right. I got another pair of socks for the grand team. Same pair. They are black. They're a beautiful, beautiful, nice, thick weave. And fantastic. And what's fantastic is they say... What are they saying, Adrian? I'd rather be, what would you rather be? <laughs> I'd rather be, the other foot says, what does it say, Adrian? Come on. Playing my guitar, I'd rather be. Playing my guitar, I'd rather be. So I bought him two pairs of these on separate orders. Was one by accident? Might have been, but I don't mind. <laughs> two dollars and thirty cents. A nice, thick, good sock in black. I think the grand team will be happy with that. I really, really do. Oh. What else can I pull out? What's this thing? Oh, I paid a dollar thirty nine, and you may be paying two twenty six. I have to tell you, I've gone rather crazy in buying things 
for the cords of all of the computer items and such. It's just, it's just a mess. The bedside of the lounge, there are five different cords on two different levels. Oh, uh, you know, just flopping down the front. Doing the best I can, but, ooh, I know how I'm gonna show these to you. Let's go ahead and get one of these things and see if we open them. This amazes me sometimes how the Velcros can be so tight. All right, there's a blue one. <laughs> Although, I got a blue one and I'm just a little bit nervous. Oh yeah, I just did that. I have a beautiful set of nails and they are a brown and they have the cats on them. And these are pretty big 3D cats. Well, that was the one that went this way. <laughs> and all of the cats are orange and brown. Look at that guy, look at that guy. These are the thin, cheap Timu nails. Ladies who do your nails, when you're scrolling and buying and you see the ones that look like it's like one plastic stick and on each side is a full set with all the extra sizes for each hand. Well, those are the cheapest nails you can buy. Once in a while, they're a little more expensive, but otherwise I usually get three for a dollar and things like that. Well, what happens is then you get what you pay for in life. And this nail right here and right now, it's gonna be blurry, sorry. You can see that side of the nail broke off. And right now, this one had already, they both had bent in sideways because these nails are thinner. Sometimes they're a little bit thicker and it really, that's fine. But most of the time, the ones that I'm getting that I'm paying way under a dollar for like three of them in a bag, four of them in a bag, they're cheap. This one had been bent and right now said, well, I'm gonna go ahead and break the rest of the way off. So what we're dealing with is kitty on a broken top of a nail that goes into a big point, but his head is still there. What a mess, people, what a mess. Well, I hope you enjoyed getting to see them right now. Oh, it's the kitty kitty cats, the meow yows, the meow yows all day. I just love this one. This one is so adorbs. Just get him. So I'm I'm enjoying those. And I brought that up because even ripping these open, the Velcro is so strong that that na the thumbnail had already had the bends on the side, so it, it said, fine, we'll just break some more. All right, what all we have? Okay, let me hold it up like this. You get white, purple, blue, and orange, and two of each of them, but no, I've got three, four, Five blue, two orange, one white, one purple. Two purple, all right, two purple. You're supposed to be able to write on these. So you put that on your cord. That's why it's got Velcro all over it. 
and it will label like, okay, that cord was to go to that, that cord was to go to that. Uh-huh. Will that help? <laughs> I was looking to get into the idea of buying different color uh, cords. So it would always be, you know, the blue was the phone and the green was the iPad. Well, that's the only two. Well, then we have the several other things I have over there that have cords. But for some reason, I started to wonder, would it be helpful for $1.39 to have tags? And maybe it will be helpful. Maybe it will. We don't know for sure. Throw that in there. <laughs> but in my orders, I just went crazy, crazy, crazy with the cord protectors. The things that snap on and do. Oh, I bought all kinds. I bought all kinds. I'm like, oh, uh -uh. We definitely want one of them to work. Speaking of nails, now this is a favorite way for me to buy nails. This is the first time I've gotten a box of four. And there is black, dark gray, because there's a light gray, black, <laughs> light gray, dark gray, black, and white. I got this four pack for 87 cents on sale. They are considered a short nail. So you've seen me, you know I can go with a really long, and see they're calling short the size I have on right now. See, I have the gray one there. They are calling that, let me hold on this. That's called a short. I'd hate to see a medium. <laughs> this is a great size. Terrific, terrific. And that set of a bunch like this. These, when they come in, because I do normally buy like at least an eight grid, six and eight grid full of colors. That's my cheapest way to be able to buy the nails. I really don't buy nails that are, you know, do it yourself in, you know, one set, one box. But I, I don't do that because as cheap as I buy them, that just can't be replicated in those nice boxed nails. All right, I'm just over here playing with it. What I was trying to do was separate it. <laughs> I have, there's two of them here. And it's like, no, they're determined not to separate. Fine, let's find something else. All right, here's one. Let's see. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. And then I put lots and lots and lots of layers of clear polish on top. It helps build them up. But that's really a nice, nice set, huh? And they already show in the little ad for it um, the numerous ways that they could do it multi nails so solid sets or multicolor sets out of the four coordinates very very worth 87 cents and you might pay a dollar 57. yay look at that four i got four different complete nail goodies all right I'm going to show you this first. Because I needed more. And I talk about the incontinence underwear. 
They have what they call period underwear and incontinence underwear. This set is my preferred set to buy because they either have a black liner or a white liner. And I'm finding that the black liner works a little bit better for whatever reason. They got a lot of little extra goodies because keep things cheap means they don't have to go and cut off all of the stray uh, fibers and such like that, the yarn. How about thread? They don't cut off all the little spray stray thread. They don't do that. They don't do that. Incontinent. That's what they have, those day panty liner type of pads that you buy to put inside. So this is the panty itself will hold a little bit of urine. And that's the reason that they're completely covered, but they go around so there's no seams. There's no seam on the back to bother you. And then it goes all the way up into the regular area where a cotton piece of your underwear would have been sewn here. Remember, you always like to get a, a cotton gusset so that you can stave off getting yeast infections. Women is best known to have a cotton gusset in the crotch of the panty. So I, I like these. They're almost waist high, smooth and soft. You get three in a package. And this time I paid $4.49 and I bought extra large. I, I bought them in large and in the extra large. And they are cotton. And the large had shrunk to a tight fit. Actually not uncomfortable, but I'm not used to a fitted much of anything, including my underwear. <laughs> so we shall see how these launder. How are they compared to the other extra large? Because the extra large just didn't shrink as much as the cotton did. I'm just totally confused with these. What I'm not confused is the need and necessity of having these little underwears. Look at this color, pink. It's just precious. They haven't had a pink one offered before. So it's kind of a fleshy pink. Mm -hmm. and the gray, and this darling pink, yes. I said I paid the $4.99, that's five, that's less than $2, less than $2 a pair of underwear that is a little bit more than being just underwear because they are going to help with incontinence. No one would know by looking at it. These could be everyday underwear and you would not have to have any embarrassment about wearing them. Okay, this said the brand was Nadia Go. You're talking about the bag on here. Okay. Do you want to talk about the product? This bag is plastic. Use it for a long time. <laughs> this bag is plastic. Use it for a long time. What's nice, if I'm saying, and use it for a long time, it doesn't have those holes cut so that a child doesn't stick their head in. I use all of my bags that the clothing come in. At this game yet, no. The good Temu, not the frosted Temus, but any 
clothing size and such of this plastic, I used her kitty litter. Different parts of Oregon are plastic free. Um, I thought it was the whole state, but I don't know. I just know where I live in Oregon. You don't get plastic bags at the, the main stores, including Dollar Tree. We get paper bags. I've been one mostly carrying a bag with me in the back of the car, several all the time. But I miss plastic bags like Dollar Tree before. I don't, you know, well, Dollar Tree had some pretty hefty plastics, but any thin that we were getting before, um, plastic bags, yeah, those are just really good kitty litter bags. People with cats need bags to put the litter in. Oh, such a cycle, people, such a cycle. All right, now, I wanted to show you those because this is the first time I've bought this, and we'll just pretend that this is a regular pair of underwear. Hi, I'm a regular pair of underwear. I paid a dollar thirty-four. I think you're down to a dollar twenty-six, or it's the opposite. <laughs> oh, I love. It. I can't even tell my own notes correctly. Looking for yes, you know what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the fold-over part since I. Would like to open it. Yay! Yay! I didn't have scissors right here on the table with me. Oh, okay. Again, like I said, it's the first time I'm buying this. It's 100% cotton. And it's really, really soft. There are two small snaps. Okay, it's nicely thickly padded. This piece is much thicker than the underwear. Because you can buy, not from Temu, <laughs> before Temu, um, independent places online that sell incontinent underwear and such. You can get some pretty different levels of padding because these are almost, like I said, this is more for just a quick little leak, a sneeze and such. But they still give me some confidence because that is the first level that the wet is gonna hit, not my pants that I'm wearing. There's something between me and my pants. All right, let's see how this looks. Okay, snapped it. That's on the outside between your legs. That snap, it's on there. And this would make me feel a lot more comfortable. I am going to buy more of these. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. So it doesn't look very attractive. It's narrower. So it's sort of clutch that all in a little. Right? But it's all gonna work out just fine. So you can buy incontinent pants and you can buy this little sleeve. It's a very, very Tight. Again, not for these kind of nails. Not for these kind of nails. And there's no way that you can just like rip it apart this way because I'm really afraid. Okay, I got it. I got it. Don't be afraid. Okay. Okay, nothing broken. 
Nothing broken. Yay! Nothing broken. Nothing broken. That. That's pretty well what I was going to show you today. And what I wanted to mention was Thursday, I did go and get my flu shots at Kaiser. So I got my regular flu and the COVID. And the COVID, um, when you're 65 and older, you get an extra, extra oomph COVID shot. So I could feel that a little bit more, the sting when it went in, but come on, just a moment. I had them both done in my non-dominant arm because I do sleep on the side, and if it was going to feel really swollen and tender and such like that, wouldn't have been conducive to getting the sleep that I would want to get while it was being uncomfortable. <laughs> well, I have to nothing. I could, you know, move my arm all day long. It was a little bit stiff for a while when I went to go into the up re region, but that was just for the shortest amount of time. There was no real, you know, pain or anything like that. That's why I got the two shots done and taken care of. I got my replacement identical frame because I bent the arm in the other one and that's why you saw me wearing it with an orange piece of silicone that hooked on to here because I needed them weighted down because when the arm bent it had made them like this on my face they yeah mm. I survived I survived and then I went back and they did have the frame thank goodness i didn't even have to like not reorder anything they had a frame in shop so i bought that and took it to kaiser and one of the opticians was um able to help me right away she put the lenses in and i'm just so grateful to have a pair of glasses now that aren't bent and are sitting on my face correctly. This is the best prescription in forever. Yes, the eye doctor that I got, she was marvelous, marvelous, marvelous. It's a really super, super prescription and addresses my um, imbalance. <laughs> Starts with P. Losing my words, people. Losing my words. It's better to lose your words than lose your mind. But is it like you lose your mind to lose your words? Oh, darn. I can't, I can't think of it. But it's your depth like this. Peripheral vision? No, peripheral sideways. Forget it. She got that really good. And she had told me that she was trying to make the reading as clear as possible. I, I, I have to forfeit distance for close-up to work. <laughs> but that's what happens overall, that as you age, your eyes age out with you a bit. So while I was still out and about and feeling fine from my shots, I went over to Buy Mart. I'm always talking about Buy Mart. Remember that time I filmed the Halloween in Buy Mart? Well, I went down the aisle and Chaka Blaka Messi were several different makeup brands that had their specific Halloween makeup. Well, I don't go to Walgreens or drug stores. I haven't been in a regular drug store in really forever. I have no need. Target's right down the street. But I don't know that Target shows those fancy sets on everybody. I've never heard Reese's. Reese's. Reese's chocolate peanutty stuff? Reese's Pieces? 
There was Reese's makeup. I know, kind of strange, huh? <laughs> but I went down and I started filming that aisle, like, okay, I'm going to show you this makeup. And I thought, fantastic, keep going, Adrian. And I walked aisles. And as you know, I don't have pause capability on my camera for filming. And I thought, keep going, just all right, keep talking. Yeah, you can talk about the blankets and you could go over here and you could talk about that. We ended up the video with the hunting area where they had all the rifles, the handguns, the knives. I think it's called Krishner. We'll pretend. Krishner, Kershaw, Kershaw is a brand of a knife made here in Oregon. They had a lovely selection of those on the top shelf in these locked up cases, of course. And I'm telling you this because I mentioned this is like a little general store owned by the employees with the idea that people are hunters. So they have a whole section to take care of the hunters. There's fish stuff. I mean, they cover every little bit of that type of homesteading, some groceries, some makeups, sundries, jewelry, appliances. <laughs> they just, they really do. And I thought for the next 20 minutes that I had very definitely been going around, doing my thing, talking and talking, talking and talking. Evidently, when I went to leave the first Halloween aisle after the makeup, somehow the camera got turned off. So I spent all that extra time talking to myself, basically. How embarrassing and sad. But while I was in there, here's a new brand of sunflower seeds. So they had the other brand that I have been buying right along from Dollar, not Dollar, from Buy Mart for $3.99 for the large, large, large size. So I made sure this is the same large size. One pound, 10 ounces. Look how cheery this is. Well, this one says, product of the USA, Argentina, and Bulgaria. Do you say Bulgaria? Because I'm saying Bulgaria. I don't know that they had sunflower seeds in Bulgaria. Argentina, why not? <laughs> well, I know. You just know that I chow down on these daily to help keep me regular. And when I am doing my picky, picky, choosy, lazy eater, this can hold me over till I decide I'm going to take care of myself better. <laughs> but what's the big deal about these, aside from the fact that it says three different resources for the sunflower seeds, they were only $2.99. $2.99. If I find them tasting the same, acting the same, um then I will continue to buy them as they are, once again, a dollar less for the same amount as what I had been buying from another brand they were carrying. But I just thought I'd show you that, happy, colorful. Maybe we'll start seeing more and more people, stores, <laughs> carry sunflower seeds because I was so stoked that Bymart carried them as I had been buying because the only resource had been Trader Joe's. 
And when I went now, they had both of these stocked on the shelf. I hope other places start getting more and more people will find out and more people will eat more sunflower seeds because you can get a lot of fiber. You get three grams of fiber for a quarter cup worth. It's just all great, people. It's just all great, especially great for Adrian. <laughs> and the other thing I thought I'd show you because it cracked me up. It's the UFO brand. <laughs> Look at the basic design on this, but they managed to put, yes, you've got your spaceship up in the corner there. UFO sponges, UFO sponges. And within that, we got one sponge. Let's see if I can pull this apart. Oh, Adrian. It's like one of the things is it's not, it's not the packaging as much as it's me. <laughs> I pulled it and ripped it because I just don't have the right hand strength. But I cracked up. I could see this one through. This little yellow sponge. This little yellow sponge. This yellow sponge of mine. It got some blue on it. Look. So you got two green, a yellow, and a mixed yellow. Oh, charming. But UFO brand, UFO brand, UFO, even written on the spaceship. I just love it. I just love this packaging. I think these were like $2 for the four. And that's not bad. I think you get two for a dollar quarter at Dollar Tree. So we get two. Uh, what abs? They're the 100% soluoids, the type of sponge that I like. And I'd show you that. Well, thank you, everybody, for hanging with me today on this particular hodgepodge, Temu, and talk. Mm -hmm. Thank you so very, very much. I really appreciate each and every one of you. If you're subscribed, that's excellent. You always hear us tell you in YouTube land, that's where they're looking. How many subscriptions do you have? How many subscriptions? Okay, so got to build those subscriptions. They also look at how many thumbs up. They like to be liked. They want the individual to be liked. I want to be liked. Can you like me? If you like me, it's a thumbs up. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate that. And the third thing is comments. You could just lay your X. You could pick some emojis. You could ask a question. You can tell us something about yourself. I read all the comments, absolutely. Absolutely, of course I do. YouTubers, we live for the comments. It's like, oh, they're really out there. They really liked me. They left a comment. Even if it's an X, it says, I liked you enough to leave a comment to help your channel. That's what all that's all about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I had all kinds of different lighting and it sure has left a lot of different shadows and planes. Not airplanes, but planes of a artistic form. Well, I guess I'm just getting a little bit crazy here. Thus, we better be able to say goodbye. I thank you all very, very much. I will put up that silly, silly little bit of makeup that I was able to do a little bit of video on in by mart so you'll have two things to look at is that okay fantastic all right till the next time i'm gonna say bye